You know that I'm saying the majority of the blame goes with Jeannie Buss. He deserves some blame. But I do not think Magic is a victim. I don't think he's blameless. <laughs> Stephen A. Ramona Shelburne has a piece up today talking about the damage, not just that Magic's resignation press mm -hmm. conference had, mm -hmm. but that his appearance here yesterday on first take is well, having on the Lakers because he is making decisions in an impulsive selfish way well, it's about him well, and all well, I'm want, saying is his decision making Stephen A reflects some of that okay okay yeah but I want you to respond to what I'm about to say all right. because I didn't find Magic Johnson to be a victim until yesterday after first take when I saw the stories being displayed all over the country you know you're talking about a part-time guy let me be very very clear Last time I checked, Max Kellerman had multiple jobs. Last time I checked, Will Kane had multiple jobs. Don't get me started with the executives for this company and various others. You have subordinates that you allocate responsibilities to, that have a job to do, and they're supposed to hold down the fort. You're an overseer. You ultimately make decisions in regards to basketball. What I'm saying is if you're Magic Johnson, we're literally having a discussion here where people have tried to say that a five-time champion, one of the greatest players that ever ever lived, who, by the way, is a successful businessman, multiple ownership opportunities, has built an empire for himself and what have you. We're literally associating the word laziness. Well, I'm not talking about us here. I'm talking about the stories that have been put out there. We're literally associating the word laziness, which, speak, which speaks, you know, feeds into a stereotype that I personally don't appreciate. And my point about it is this. When you look at Magic Johnson, Bill Jackson Magic, Johnson, Magic Johnson goes to Jeannie Buss. This is what we're going to do. Are you on board? Jeannie Buss picked the GM. Jeannie Buss picked to have the ears that are, in, you know, the mouths that are in her ears. She picked the people that are around. Magic Johnson inherited all of that. You want Magic Johnson, this, this, this global iconic figure, a basketball icon, to make a basketball decision. What's wrong with him allocating responsibility to others, Will? He could, you blame him for the roster. Blame them for the fact that they can't shoot. But to literally associate the, the word laziness and part-time with him, when he signed on and you knew what he signed on for, you're supposed to pound the pavement, do what you can to bring him the best information, and he's supposed to make the decision. Since when is that lazy? To be clear. Since I'm when is that part-time? To be clear, and you're not doing this, but I think it's getting dangerous here, I did not ever call him lazy. No, We're no, no, not no, talking no, about not that you. here. I specifically said right. we did not do that. I and said the stories that have been put right. out there. What I'm That's responding what to is Magic's exact description of his job situation, wherein he essentially held a part-time schedule for a job that had full-time responsibilities. That doesn't make you lazy, by the way. That means you could be juggling, as you pointed out, three or four jobs. We, but the one, the job that we're discussing here today is not about any of his business interests. The job that we're discussing is about the Lakers. That's the one that's in dysfunction. Right. We, but, that's but, but, the one that's got a problem. Fellas, Stephen, and was, that's but, the but one fellas, I'm saying he's not duty, blameless though? in the situation. We, we all where agree was the that... the of duty then, guys? Because Rob Palenka, if Rob Palenka, Max, was saying, quote, where's Magic, where's Magic? And he was doing that on purpose to highlight the fact that Magic was wasn't there. This is the same Rob Palenka that said him and Magic talked all the time. They right. had no, a no, great no, no. relationship what? that he was shocked by what he said. Look, look, Magic is entitled to tell Jeannie these are the stipulations under which I, the conditions under which I accept the job. We are right. also okay to say that doesn't really work. Right. Like Phil Jackson with the Knicks, it doesn't really you're work like it, that. Just real quick, we all, you're setting yourself up for failure. Right, right. We all agree, if you can pull it off, oh my God, but it usually doesn't work that way. We all agree Jeannie Buss is the most to blame. She makes the decisions. The buck stops with her. It seems to me we all agree with that. I want yeah. to point something out. It seems to me Magic didn't understand the game he was playing. There's a game of thrones being played here between the th two of the biggest Lakers icons and now LeBron James. Co uh, Magic Johnson, Kobe Bryant, and LeBron James, it seems to me, are jockeying for control. Magic didn't understand the game he was playing even. I don't think he was really playing that game. I think now we're down to Kobe and LeBron. And if you look at the power, who's rising and who's falling, Kobe's guy is entrenched. LeBron James's power is diminished. He didn't get the coach he wanted. Kobe is winning this Game of Thrones. Magic didn't know he was, that was the game they were even playing. Max, I think it's a fascinating background story. I talked about your angle on this yesterday on the Will Kane show. I do think this is underlying a lot of it as well. I just want to leave this with the last point, Stephen A., I mean, you point out that Magic made a real, real strong stance that I did it my way. 
but I, I just don't think that's good enough. Doing it your way doesn't mean that it was the right way. And Magic sounding strong about, I didn't need to tell LeBron, I don't care about your judgment. I didn't need to notify Jeannie, I don't care about your judgment. Doesn't allow us to come out here and go, he's Magic, he's a legend, well, he did it his way. We need to be strong enough ourselves to go, yeah, you know what though? That's not the right way to do business. But, but, but here's where I'm, I'm going to attack you respectfully about your position. I get where you're coming from, Will, when you talk about the right and wrong of it. But if you feel betrayed, the emphasis is on the word betrayed. Are you sure that you would react differently? I think I would have reacted differently in terms of calling LeBron. Fair enough. But as it pertains to everybody else, when you feel betrayed by those people, how would you react? See, we want to point the finger at how Magic Johnson exited. You think I like seeing him in a Staples Center, you know, damn near holding back tears because of Jeannie Buss? No. I thought it looked kind of weak. You know, yes. I thought he could have What, I thought, what I, difference I would it have made had he LeBron. told LeBron but, ahead of time? Like what? what? Like he, what Magic has never Respectful. answered satisfactorily, in my view. No, I agree. Is what difference would it have made had he just given LeBron a heads no, 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 up? No, 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 no. But he I chose agree. not to, I, and he's I, fine with that. I, Stephen, hold a, hold a, let me. Can I just ask one question here? I'm sorry if you're frustrated, but I, I'd like to make a point. Stephen A., and I, I want to come to you. Isn't this really about delivering a job? And the job was for him to bring two franchise players to the Lakers. And you said half pregnant. Well, he half completed the job. He brought LeBron, He's gonna bring and AD he too. didn't bring someone else. And isn't that what well, this is really about no, in the no, end? No, it, it, was, it, wasn't about, it wasn't about bringing two star players to L.A. It was about positioning them to compete for a championship. And I'm here to tell you, I still believe that if LeBron hadn't gotten hurt and missed those 17 consecutive games, the Lakers would have made the playoffs and they would have beaten uh, or they would have won a team, uh, beat somebody in the first two rounds and end up playing Golden State in the Western Conference Finals. I firmly believe that. 